RushCon is, in essence, a fan club that meets once a year in a place. So you get all these Rush fans from everywhere meeting in one place. Usually we try to time it around a concert or some cool event, but really it just gets people out of their parents' basement. <laughs> My fandom, especially in college, um, was such a fever pitch. I was just vibrating with Rush fandom. Like, I could not get enough. And this was way, this was before Facebook and before the internet. So, like, this was me cutting out photos from magazines and, like, covering my walls. And it just got, it just got exhausting. I loved them so much, and I was so heavily inspired by everything that it's my outlet for my crazy. Show some respect the book, everyone. We have a bunch of games, like game show style stuff. And then we have a big charity auction where you can bid on signed, you know, photos and posters and stuff. Like, here's the thing. We need to jump in a cab right now because you guys are meeting the band You rarely will find someone who used to be the high school quarterback to be a Rush fan, or the head cheerleader is rarely a Rush fan. But the band geek that you knew in high school, or the guy that was super good at science, is probably a Rush fan. <laughs> so we're, we're a very smart, artistic, and intelligent bunch, I would say. But with that comes maybe some social awkwardness, <laughs> which I definitely suffer from myself. Also, Martin's being a weenus, and he needs to leave by 5.30. So if you need to hang out with Martin Popoff and get books and get stuff signed, he will see you over at his little booth over there. Cool. I was in advertising for most of my life, and I lived in Chicago at the time. And I decided one day that I could no longer make tampon ads. Like, I was just, I could not stay in advertising. It was just crushing my soul. So I stopped going to work. I joined the 2012 Obama campaign, and it was amazing, and we won, and then I got the job at the White House. Every day I'm just like, how do they keep letting me in this building? I think everyone has their secret obsession, and so everyone can kind of be sympathetic when I have to say, like, yes, I run a fan club and I need to take off work to do it. But yeah, it's awesome how supportive people are and how fascinating they think this whole thing is.